Hey, what's up everyone? It's Zero back again, and boy do I have a game for you here. I almost rage quit this game like three or four different times just because it started out so horribly. I think I ended up, at one point I was like one or two and maybe like 11 or 12. I'll say like one and 11, something like that, just because of things like this, mainly at the start. Just crossbow bolts and random grenades and people shooting me in the spawn or spawning right in front of someone. It was just a horrible, horrible start to the game, and I almost rage quit a bunch of times, but somehow ended up pulling it out and actually getting, well, it wasn't a decent game, but I ended up somehow pulling a positive KD, getting a bunch of captures, and ended up high up on the scoreboard, and we won, which is always a bonus. I wasn't sure. The only reason I didn't rage quit this game is just because I could see what my teammates were kind of doing stuff, and going for B and trying to get flags, and I thought if I could ever get inside this building and kind of find a place to make a base, then I'd have it pretty well made and I could come back, but it almost got to the point where there was no coming back from where I was, but eventually it ended up being a pretty action-packed game once I stopped dying all the time. So I spent more of last night playing Brink. I'm sure most of you probably saw my review that I put up of the first impressions where it was just horribly laggy, and right after I posted that game, I actually got into a really good game with a really good host, and it was a whole lot of fun. And since then, i found that even in single player, or not the single player, but in the campaign mode, you can do campaign mode multiplayer, where you just start the game, and you're the only person in there, and other people can join, and they can play on your team or the opposing team, so eventually you can get through playing the campaign mode four on four. And it's pretty interesting. It's a novel idea. I think it's going to be really cool to see when it finally gets out. For the most part, it was just uh, me and then one other guy on the other team. And you can set it up to where it will keep uh, evenly matched teams. So nobody's going to be... Or actually, not just evenly matched teams, but everyone's evenly matched. It won't put people in that are a lot higher level than you. It'll keep everyone pretty much equal and pretty much on the same level. So... Everyone has the same weapons, resources, and everything else. And it looks like they actually put a whole lot of thought into the multiplayer on that. And once the connections get going good, I think it's going to be a really awesome game. The controls are a little bit heavy, and I'm not too big of a fan of them, but... That guy is standing there. I, I thought that was our napalm, and I thought he was standing in it, but it turned out he was an enemy, and I don't know if he was missing the napalm or if it was their napalm or what. But yeah, he sniped me from the corner while I was looking right at him. But anyway, I was saying, it looks like the multiplayer is going to be really promising, or all the whole game of Brink is going to be really good once they get everything ironed out on it. I had a lot of fun playing it. Hopefully I'll be able to get some games captured here before too long. Um, the single, or the campaign mode where everything works fine and is completely non-laggy actually is kind of a pain to capture things on because the games are just incredibly long. Maybe I could capture some sections of it or something. I'm not sure, but I'd like to get on just the regular multiplayer games. That would be fine, or that would be ideal if I could get one of those with a good host again. Those end up being about 10 minutes or so, just about the same length as a Call of Duty video. But I'm happy with the game so far. I think it's going to be really good. I don't think it's going to take over from Call of Duty on anything. I mean, look at me just keep getting knifed here because I'm playing on a really crappy three-bar connection, so. And I just changed it to tactical layout, so <laughs> I'm getting used to that. I always played on tactical layout, and then I forgot to change it to tactical layout for the first few days, and I got used to it on just regular layout, and then I changed it back to tactical. And, of course, once I get used to one, that's right when I switch it, so I screwed myself over there. I don't know if anybody's been watching lately, if anyone here that watches my videos is subscribed to Next Gen Tactics or The Gun Shop, or Guns for Hire has his video game rumors and just talks about all sorts of topics and stuff like that. But he had something interesting on there yesterday that they were talking about for Modern Warfare 3. They were going to have an entire online universe type thing. And nobody really knows what that means yet, but there's some speculation that it's going to be open things up across all consoles from PS3 to Xbox and PC and means everyone can just jump into the world together kind of like the MMO PC games and just go at it online. I think that might be really cool but hopefully they don't get the PC gamers 
in there with the Xbox and the PS3, because PC is a lot more accurate with the mouse and keyboard. <laughs> There's a whole lot more accuracy. That's why they don't have aim assist like we do on the consoles. But I mean, if they found some way to kind of even things out, that would be pretty awesome. I'd love to have that. You could always find a game, pretty much, and pretty much always have a good connection if they did it right, because you'd, there'd be plenty of people close to where you were. But for now, I guess that's just speculation. Nobody really knows what this whole online universe thing is. It could just be something totally lame that they're hyping by calling it that. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Apparently the release date rumored now is, of course, November on a Tuesday. I think it was the 7th or something like that. I can't remember the exact date. This is a nice little defend I got here. Shot that guy, took out the turret, shoot this guy laying prone, and then I got shot in the back, but I got those guys off B. I always love pulling little brushes like that. Hopefully, anyway, though, uh, Modern Warfare 3 is going to bring something to the table that's kind of new. Uh, so far, in my opinion, all this stuff is just starting to get kind of stale. It just seems to be repeated over and over with different perks and different maps and slightly different game mechanics, but the overall thing is just the same, which I hope they keep a lot of things the same, but I'd like to see them innovate some brand new things to just bring a whole lot more excitement. Don't know what's possible in that, but uh, hopefully they think of something. That's kind of why I'm liking Brink so much, just because it's totally different in the whole gameplay. Is they've redesigned everything from the ground up. It's not just a clone of <laughs> any of these games that are on the market now. One thing I'd really like to see is download content. I'm tired of just downloading maps and maybe get a new zombie map and Black Ops, which I don't really play as zombies anyway. I'd like to see them add something onto their download content, like you get extra weapons or something. Just something else besides just a few new maps. And that might make things a little more interesting once you've been out for a while and got used to all the weapons. Get the download content and then you get new weapons or new attachments or something like that. That would be really cool, I think. Maybe even the possibility for better weapons with the download content. Usually, by the time the download content comes out, everyone knows what the best weapon in the game is and everyone uses that, so if they could introduce something new that could contend with that, that would always be awesome. Maybe not completely outgun it, but something equal to it. It's just my thoughts. That might make it a little bit more interesting. They need to do something, though. I guess they don't really have to do anything, because they just keep selling record numbers every time, and they keep getting more and more new gamers, but all the people that have been around for a long time just know what's going on with it and are kind of getting tired of it. But I guess they're probably not trying to please them as much as they're trying to attract new customers, because no matter how much you complain about Call of Duty or how much you hate it, when the next one comes out, if you've been playing it for years and years, you're probably going to end up buying the next one too, eventually. They're, they're going to get your money. There's no way around it. Although I do know some people that haven't bought Black Ops. Some of my family that got me back into gaming with Modern Warfare, Call of Duty 4, actually didn't buy Black Ops. They're still playing Modern Warfare 2, which I'm surprised about, but they're the same thing. I mean, if I go back and look at Modern Warfare 2, I usually do kind of enjoy it a little bit more than Black Ops. I just can't find anybody to play with most of the time. Most of the people I know that still play Modern Warfare 2 play hardcore, and that's just way too campy for me these days. It used to be all I played was hardcore, and that's where I got my extremely defensive playstyle from, but I'm trying to work out of that a little bit, because the games are just really long, drawn out, and not a whole lot of action. I mean, somebody might top the leaderboard with maybe 10 kills in a hardcore game, just because everybody's laying prone somewhere with a sniper rifle, silenced weapons. That and they don't really have any game modes that I like all that much in hardcore. If they do a hardcore domination, I might play something like that, but they just really don't have objective game modes with hardcore in them. They have hardcore search and destroy and hardcore TDM and... Honestly, I haven't even looked at the Hardcore playlist in Black Ops, so I can't tell you what all they have, but... I know they don't really have the game modes that I like in it, which is Domination or Demolition. Which, I can't even imagine Hardcore Demolition the way Spawn Trapping is right now. That would just be 
terrible, I would think. But there's not that much longer to wait to see what they have planned, so kind of looking forward to it. But until then, I don't know. I said this about Killzone, and I was going to be playing a lot of Killzone, and then I ended up not playing much at all just because it's so heavily team based. And I don't know. I'm going to feel like I'm going to say the same thing about Brink and say I'm going to be playing a lot of Brink from now until then, but it seems like it's going to be heavily teamwork based too, so we'll see how that turns out. But I know I'm going to put at least a few more videos of Brink out. And Hopefully a few of Killzone 3 out, too, because that game really is fun. But I'm going to keep putting out some more Black Ops videos and maybe even Modern Warfare 2 videos. Eh, honestly, who knows what I'm going to put out. I'm just going to record whatever I feel like recording, and hopefully that's okay with everyone, because, I don't know, if I'm not having fun making videos, then I feel like that I'm not going to have the quality there, which I know my videos right now aren't that high quality, but... Yeah, the quality that I do get in them is just because I enjoy making them and I'm having fun doing it. It's actually become a pretty interesting hobby of mine. I look forward to getting on here and making videos and doing the editing and things like that. And I look forward to doing all of them. And it's thanks to you guys that I have this because just knowing that people are out there watching is the reward for me. So... As always, thank you to my subscribers, especially my new subscribers that I picked up over the last week. I uh, hope to be getting a whole lot more out for you here before too long. As always, thumbs up always helps, and feel free to comment. And if you want to, subscribe. I always appreciate new subscribers, and hopefully I'll be putting stuff out that everyone likes. And until then, well, until then, later. <laughs>